Well, the time is ticking on legislation waiting for the governor's signature. It is called the Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights. And if Governor Cuomo doesn't sign it by tomorrow, it becomes an automatic veto. Two on your side's Emily Lampa tells us what's at stake as we hold people in power accountable. It's something I didn't get. It's something that everyone deserves. I spoke over Skype with Abby Haglidge. She is just one of the rape survivors who testified in Albany this year in support of the Sexual Assault Survivor Bill of Rights. I tried to pursue a case against my attacker um, two years after it happened. And uh, by then, my rape kit had been destroyed. So there was no... Um, feasible way for me to to get justice. The bill details a rape victim's right to fair and sensitive treatment during the investigation of their case, and it ensures that they are informed of those rights in every step of the process. It entitles them to a counselor who can be with them during physical exams and interrogations. The bill ensures preventative treatment for HIV, and in terms of rape kits, victims would not be responsible for paying for it. They'll know where that evidence kit is at all times. No, I didn't have the tools and the legal protections to be able to pursue a case. Um, this bill would do that. Governor Andrew Cuomo had 30 days to approve this legislation and tomorrow is the deadline. If it goes unsigned, it's an automatic veto. We reached out to Assemblyman Joseph Giglio, who co-sponsored this bipartisan measure. We have seen in the past that sometimes we have passed things unanimously that in fact have been vetoed, and then they come back next year with a little bit of a different version from, you know, sometimes it's a governor program bill, sometimes he puts it in the budget. It just depends on, on what he does next. Haglidge is holding out hope the governor will act in the next few hours. She says this bill becoming law would be the closest thing to justice she will ever achieve. I think Cuomo has a has an awesome opportunity right now to sign legislation that will affect over six million people in New York. And I look forward to him doing that. And, and I look forward to really celebrating this this new chapter. Now, of course, we did reach out to Governor Cuomo's office this morning and followed up again this afternoon to find out what he plans to do with this legislation. No response yet from his administration. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.